Hello, everybody. It's your girl, J. Lola. Hi, see you. This is Finding Love Blindfolded. We're trying to determine if we could find a match tonight. Are you excited for this? Because I am. Let's see what it's about. Yeah. So the way the show is going to go, ladies, is once the guy walks in, just based on his voice alone, I'm going to ask him a set of questions. Just based on his voice alone, you're going to either pop the balloon or hold on to your balloon. If you find his voice attractive, you hold on to your balloon. Do not pop. But if you do not like what you're hearing, then you pop. Okay? And then you'll be asked to take off your blindfold. And based on his physical features, you'll be given another set of balloons. You're going to have to either hold on to it as you find him attractive, or you pop because you don't find him attractive. And then we'll go from there, okay? And I'll be asking you guys questions. Perfect? Yeah. Okay. Let's have our first contestant. Hi, how are you? How are you doing today? Good. So what do you think about the ladies up here? Okay, nice, nice, nice. So ladies, so far, based on what you're hearing, how do you feel about him? Talk louder. <laughs> Say my name. My name is Natasha, by the way. Natasha. Oh, shit. Do you believe that you can find love blindfolded? No. You'll be No, I'm Because you gotta see what you want. I'm sorry, say that again? You have to see what you want. You gotta see what you want. Hmm, okay. But, so what you're basically saying is you don't believe that personality matters. So for you, it's physical. Depends on the person. Okay. So right now, based on the ladies and what you're seeing, so are you saying physically they're attractive? Yes. Okay. So you would just have to get to know them mentally or it doesn't matter to you? Depends on the timing. You know what I mean? Okay. The setting and timing. Okay. What's your age? I'm 34. What's your sign? Aquarius. What city are you from? North New Jersey. Do you have a preferred nickname? Yeah. Okay, do you mind sharing it? Big Pete. God, I'm Why do they call you Big Pete? <laughs> because I'm tall and uh, I carry a lot of weight. Okay. Um, what's your heritage? My heritage? This man! <laughs> oh, I'm not too much. <laughs> Like my heritage is what my like my ethnicity. Yeah, heritage meaning what's your like? Where are you from? My nationality, you mean? I'm African American. African American, okay. Just African American. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, describe your physical features in three words. Strong. Honorable and smart. Do you speak any other languages? No. What's something the ladies here would never in a million years guess by just looking at you? How smart I am. If you could eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Mango. Eat a smoky book. Name the most exciting thing that's happened to you this week. Nothing. Do you believe in the idea of soulmates? No. Do you care to elaborate? No, I, don't, I just don't think, like, I don't know, probably where I'm at in my life, I don't think a soulmate, that's a strong words for a, another person, an individual. But um, I, me personally, right now in my life, I'm not looking at nothing exclusive, okay. meaning serious. Okay. I want to ask the ladies who popped their balloons, why they did, okay? So we're gonna hear from them. Um, are you giving me a microphone? Yeah. Okay. So I want you to um, tell us why you popped your balloon. Um, he sounds so unsure for me. I don't know, like, I like direct. Like, you have to be able to answer the question that's given to you without having to, mm, um, well, mm, unsure. Okay. 
Why did you pop your balloon? I ain't gonna lie, bro lost me at the Agnificy, like. I said, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. I bro lost me at the Agnificy, <laughs> like, and like, and when he said he was 34, pushing on 30, that's a little too old for me, I ain't gonna lie. So we have you who didn't pop your balloons. Um, do you care to share why um, so far you've not popped your balloon? I don't know what to say, but okay. I guess. I mean, he's so mature, you Aww. know. And I mean, I don't know. I don't really know. But he's so mature, to be honest. And his age is nice. So, yeah. You don't know. Oh, you must know because you, your balloon is <laughs> it's still not popped, okay? And I feel like... Yeah, basically, I feel like he knows how to talk. Like, he... I don't know. Like, I don't know how to put this. I'm kind of nervous, y'all. But I feel like he's, he knows what he wants. Like, basically, like he said before, like, you have to see what you want. You know, you can't just, if you get what I'm trying to say. But. I said you can't walk off faith. Oh, okay. So now, another question I want to ask you is, based on just looking at the ladies, I want you to be able to rate their fit. So rate each person outfit from, you know. They all turns to me. All turns. All like turns. Yeah, yeah. They all turns. They all can dress. So even after two of the ladies said they're not really mm, feeling you, even though they popped their balloon, you still, still tens. They all still tens. Okay. So now we're gonna have the reveal. The ladies are going to be able to see you. I am going to give the two ladies who didn't pop their balloons another set of balloon. And then based on your physical feature, mm -hmm. they now have to rate you. Okay? Mm -hmm. Alrighty. We'll be right back. All right, ladies. So you have new sets of balloons. So now you could take off your blindfold. Hey. <laughs> you could do what you have the balloons in your hand. You do what you want to do. Oh my god! <laughs> what are you, you gonna do? She scared me. Okay. She scared me. Okay. So I want to ask you, why did you pop your balloon? You didn't have your balloon popped before. I know. Um, I like Nigerians. Basically, I don't do Jamaicans or Americans. I just have my own personal reason. So. Hmm, but that was not a problem before. You know, you took him. He's good, you know. His age is good, but. We stopped recording. Hold on, hold on. Please. Yeah, okay. So prior to you taking off your blindfold, you knew he was African American, but why all of a sudden? Why the change of art? I just don't like what I see. I'm so sorry. I just. I don't like what I see. I okay, is there, is there anything you'd like to say to that? No. Okay. So, ladies, you still have your balloons in your hand. I want to ask you, what do you think of him? Are you a hood nigga? No. Damn, you lost me, bro. I like this one. Okay. Okay. So, Tutu, what do you think so far? He's okay. He looks okay. But take off the hoodie. It's unattractive. Okay. He looks okay. Okay, so you're saying he has dreads. So now that is something that's appealing to you? Yeah, I like I like them with dreads. I ain't gonna lie. But you said you he lost you at not being a hood yeah, nigga. Well, you know, it could be exceptions, you know. You could try, try something new. You only live once. Okay, okay. So I have some questions for you ladies, okay? Um, what's your age? 24. 22. 23. Uh, I'm sorry, go one more time. 24. 22. 23. Ah. One double. Okay. <laughs> What's your sign? Scorpio. Virgo. Aries. Okay, per Aries gang. Okay. <laughs> what city are you from? Um, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Queens. Nice. Do you have any preferred nicknames or do you ladies mind introducing yourself? Adiola. Natasha. Attitude 2. Hmm? Sorry, one more time. Attitude 2 with an attitude. <laughs> okay. And what's your heritage? Nigerian. Caribbean. Almost modest. <laughs> no, 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What does that mean? Nigerian. Okay. Okay. Per. Alrighty, ladies. So now I want you. Being that now you see the gentleman that we have here, I want you to rate his outfit. Okay. Seven. Okay. Do you care to tell us why? I mean, he looks casual, so it's nothing really all that. I mean, it's it's he looks nice. You understand? Not to like, but it's just. I mean, to me, it's casual dressing. So. Um, let me see your. Uh, you can't do it real swiftly. I'm mad. I got, <laughs> nigga, I'm mad. I'm just. Like, I'm mad. I got uh, mixed match socks on. Like, and y'all got mixed match socks on too. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, I'll give seven two because the pants. I don't know. It's a little too tight. It look a little tight. Yeah. I'll give seven two. A, a, a good six. I just feel like you just didn't know like the type of setting he's gonna be in because I like like you know mature <laughs> like I like you know when a guy you know dresses nice casual the business casual type of look yeah okay so right now this is not given to you this is not an ideal first date type of outfit yeah, no, this is not an ideal first okay but his face is okay for me okay all right so we only have one lady with a balloon left okay so I want to now ask you this do you believe you'll be able to take this young lady here on a first date? Yeah, I believe I will be able to. Okay, so I, do we have a match? Uh, yeah, we do. Do we have a match? I love Nigerians, I'm not gonna lie. I wanna kind of, um, you know, just explore. Okay, so... You like Nigerians. Does that mean you don't want to go on an official day with him? No, I like seeing my options. <laughs> okay. All right, not a problem. So does that mean you're still holding on to the balloon? Okay. All right, ladies. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming today. No problem. <laughs> Let's bring in the second contestant. Hello, how are you? Face the camera so they can see your face. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. What's your name? My name is Victor. Victor. How old are you, Victor? 23. You're 23? Nice. Okay, what city are you from? Um, Newark. Newark? Yeah. Okay, what's your heritage? Nigerian. You're Nigerian? Okay. Oh! We already hear the sounds, though. <laughs> You never even see face. You already make it sounds. Calm down now. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Um, what do you think about the lady so far? I mean, they're, they're all looking good. Aww. Okay. So do you want to rate them from a scale of 1 to 10? Um, the first one, I'll give her like a, a 5. Okay. Yeah. The second one, like a, a 7.5. And um, the last one, it's pretty calm, like nine. Oh, calm nine? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, what? <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Okay. Um, so I do have some questions for you. Do you believe love is blind? Mm, kind of. Do you care to elaborate? I mean, sometimes you don't get to see um, love at first sight. Like, you just... As time goes by, you, you get to, like, find, okay, yeah, you're in love with somebody, and then, I don't know, but, yeah. Ha. Hello, ladies. <laughs> you are getting intellectual, intellectual, intellectual. Okay, okay. Um, okay. What do you want out of life? I mean, I always want to see myself at the apex level of my objective, and whatever I do, I want to, like, have other people, like, see, see me as a role model. Nice. Uh, uh. Ladies, are you hearing that? A role model. So, alrighty. Um, so what's something you're genuinely proud of from the past few years? What have you done that you're most proud of? I mean, my achievements right now, like, I've been able to, like, I'm a barber. And then I've been able to, like, network with a lot of celebrities. So it's something I've been praying for since I ever started because I've seen my colleagues calling other celebrities. And then I try to work out for it. And then I got to that level. So I'm proud of my achievements. 
You go, Victor. Okay, ladies, we have a celebrity barber here is what we're hearing. So none of you have popped your balloons yet. I want to come to you now, ladies. What is it that you're feeling? Oh, you're talking? Yeah, okay. here, so basically, here. I like how the way he sound, you know, and basically he sound like he has goals, you know, ahead of him. So, yeah, like I like when a guy has like goals in his future, you know. So, and yeah, he's pretty young, but I'm young too, you know. Um, yeah, he's so calm. He sounds smart too, so. Okay, sounds smart. Like I said, you guys have an intellectual mind here. What about you, Tasha? I ain't gonna lie, he sound like he look good, and um, he got his head on his shoulders. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay, Titi, I'm coming right to you. What is it that you're feeling? Let us know, girl. Um, I do like how he sounds. Um, he sounds very respectful. As a Nigerian, that's one thing you really want to hear all the time. A uh, respectful man. Um, I like his name. I like that he's Nigerian. I like that he has a goal for himself. So that's good because it matches energy. Yeah. Are you ladies ready to see him? Yeah. Uh-uh. Hey, my calm down now. Hey, my calm down now. Okay. All right, ladies, take off the blindfolds. Uh-uh. <laughs> I didn't do too. Be coming down, no. <laughs> All right, ladies. So now you have the blindfold off. What do you say that you, what, what's your first impression of him? Looking at him now. He's cute. He's handsome. I like how the way he dressed, you know. He looks responsible. So, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. He do look good. I got, they got those same feet too. <laughs> Girl, you already know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> I agree with them. You do look good. I'm not no mind reader. I want you to tell me what you're feeling, girl. Mm. I'm just hungry. About them. <laughs> yeah, just hungry. Okay. All right, ladies. So based on just seeing Victor, just based on seeing Victor, do you believe that you will go on a blind for a first official day with him? Yeah. Okay, so now I want to ask you ladies some questions, and I'm actually going to do things the reverse way. I'm going to give Victor a balloon, okay, and I'm going to ask him to pop for each one of you. Well, not to pop, but to either hold on to it or pop, all right? So, Victor, I'm going to give you a balloon. So this is how we're going to do this. When I say the name or when I point to one of the ladies, you either hold on to your balloon or you pop it. Okay? And we're going to do this for each and every single one of them. All right? Okay, so I'm going to point to Tasha. Okay, nice. Um, we're going to go to Adela. Okay. Can we get one more balloon, please? <laughs> And now we're going to add it to two. Okay. Alrighty. So, um, unfortunately, Adela, thank you so much for being a part of this episode. Um, but we're just going to have the two ladies, okay? Um, and before you go, I just want to ask you, what is it that you're feeling? Or, um, you know, he just popped the balloon. I mean, to be honest, I'm not ugly, I know, and I have a go to. Everybody has different types, so I can't blame him for popping the ba balloon. So, yeah. Thank you so much for coming. So now, ladies, we have the both of you. Tell me how you feeling. How you feeling? Like that bitch. <laughs> no, let me stop. Sorry. <laughs> and how you feeling, Tutu? Same energy like that bitch. <laughs> All righty now. So now we're going to dive a little deeper, okay? Um, What are a few personality traits you look for in a woman um i like my woman very smart and then productive okay so now i'm gonna go to you ladies what is something right now in your life that you feel you're most proud of i feel like i'm most proud of getting my own crib getting a job and i'm back in school okay. um well right now i'm not in school because i just graduated with my master's degree 
Um, okay. And I graduated with a magna cum laude. Okay. Yes, I'm proud. Of. And um, so currently I run a nonprofit organization. Um, I'm a president for the U Advisory Board. So I also run for another one. Um, it's also another nonprofit for New Yorkers for Children and for Harshay St. Vincent Services. So I invest my time in, you know, working with young people to create some foundation and some um, like a, just like a club or a society where they can feel like they belong, especially when they go through a lot because I came from a rough background. So, yeah. Oh, that is so sweet. That is such a kind thing to say to to. The- um, so, um, how do you like to be shown affection? I mean, through, um, constant communication and then, um, yeah, just communication and checking up, it matters because I feel like communication is key. When there's no proper communication, you can't have the heart to heart um, feelings and conversation. Okay. So I'm also going to ask this, right? Nobody's perfect, um, but I'm curious. Um, if I was to ask your best friend one thing about you, um, what do you think they would say? Uh, I'm probably playful. Playful? Yeah, I play a lot. Do you guys get playful energy from Victor? Mm, not yet. Oh, you look a little serious right Match now. Match energy. Mm-hmm. Not yet. Match energy. Okay. <laughs> to just say match energy. I don't know what that means. Is so you care to elaborate? Girl, come on now. You've been seeing me all night. I've been giving that energy. I like the energy back. You get like, it? You know, a little razzle-dazzle here and there. <laughs> okay, so another thing. So far, Victor, just based on the conversation so far, which lady do you think out of the two of them you'll be able to take her on a date? So once again, you have the balloon in your hand. I'm going to point to one of the ladies, and you have to pop or hold on to your balloon, okay? I'm going to point to Tasha. Okay. Um, it's okay. Wait, wait, wait. We're gonna ask you some questions before you leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, girl. Hold on. Why is it that you were so ready to walk off? I don't know. I thought when you pop the balloon, that means walk off. <laughs> okay. So how are you feeling right now? Um, I know initially he didn't pop the balloon for you, but now he just did. How does that make you feel? Is there? Oh, I'm chilling. Okay. Alrighty, is there there any word you want to say to Victor before you go? Nah, I'm Gucci. Have fun with my friend. Purr. Purr. Alright, thank you so much for coming. Last woman standing, but let's not get too excited yet because Victor still has the choice to either pop his balloon or to hold on to it. Okay? Here you go, Victor. Um, So... What do you think of our lady here, Tutu? Do you think you'll be able to take her on our first date? I mean, yeah, but quick question. Um, where are you from? I'm Nigerian. Um, I'm from Queens, but I live in Harlem. I live alone. So. On Do State, Idoani. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a yes. It's a yes. Do we have a match? Okay, we have a match. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you guys want to hug or whatever. You at this point, you're just free to flow. Yes, I'm sure. Oh, after the whole thing. Sorry, they don't want to do you know not too much a camera. But as you can see, for this round, we do have a match. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. All right. now. Give me a hug. Thank you. So we only have two left. We found a match. That is amazing. We're hoping that maybe we could find one of the other ladies a match tonight before they go home. Ladies, how are you feeling so far? Tired. Good, though, to be honest. I'm chilling. So are you confident that you'll find a match? If God says yes, then it's a yes. (laughs) I love it. Uh, we just gonna have to see. All right, so let's bring in our next contestant. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Please face the camera so everyone at home can see you. How are you? What's your name? 
I'm David. David, how old are you, David? I am 20. Set back a bit, sorry. It's okay. All right, David, how old are you? 20. Nice. So far, just based on looking at the ladies, what would you rate them? Solid eight. I'm sorry? An eight. An eight for both? Um, yeah, for she, right? She's doing a solid six. Okay, so eight and a six. Okay. Is there something in particular that is not of um, interest to you? Um, no, not really. Everything's fine. Okay. All righty. Um, so David, what's your ideal first date? Um, I'm not really big on the whole dinner dates and all. Let's just, you know, get food and just chill and all. Anything you're down for, right? So pretty much you're saying you're more of a indoor guy, not really too much of a going out type of guy. It depends though. Anything you're down for, if we getting food, sitting and outside, or we just chilling, anything, right? Okay. And what's your sign? Huh? Ah, sorry you. <laughs> well, I think um, she, um, Aries, I guess. Yeah. Aries. Oh, come on now, Aries gang. All right. See that that gave you a little cool point. Or whatever. I hope so, ladies. Um, so, what is it that you do right now? Um, right now, I'm in school, but I'm a fashion model. Okay, now we have a model. So, where do you see yourself in two years? Um, shit. I just... In two years, I just hope that I get my money up and, you know, just take care of my family and all. So, I don't really have big plans. I just want to get my money and take care of my family. That's all. Nice. An ambitious man, ladies. Okay, okay. Um, is there any questions you want to ask the ladies before they see you? Uh, I don't know. Um, um, <laughs> shit. I just want to ask about their past relationships, though. Okay. So, ladies, um, what is something... You don't mind sharing or telling Victor about your past relationship. Victor. So we are. Ah, sorry, name Papo. Ah, we have found love. Sorry. I'm sorry, David. What is one thing that you will tell? You want to be doing Hojoro. Okay. I have to make sure no Hojoro was happening. Can't see what's going on. Nice. Okay. So what is it that you feel comfortable telling David about your past relationship? I mean, I don't like talking about my past. It's the past. I live in the past. How you feel about that, David? Nah, I feel like the past should be in the past, but, you know, the past literally represents who you are right now, you know? So, I mean, you just gotta, you gotta face it and accept who you are and what happened and just, you know, like, put it into your present and be better. So... I mean, fast, but like, oh shit, my my language, but fast still, but it still determines your <laughs> it determines your present, you know. So just fuck it and say it, you know. I'll say it like this, you know, my past relationship has been good, you know. You know how men can be sometimes, but I'm this type of person like I'm very patient, you know, and um. You know, guys, you know, they kind of do something that can get you pissed off, you know. Like, I've actually, I'm going to say it like this. I've learned from my past relationship things I shouldn't do and the things I should do, you know. So, when I, and I always tell myself, like, when next I go into a relationship, I'll become a better person. You know, I've learned a lot of stuff and I know what to do and now, and not what to do also. So, basically. What is it that you feel comfortable telling us about your past relationship? F that d <laughs> That's it. That's all. Cool. Yeah, no, like <laughs> wow. Okay. You felt very strongly about that. Um, I'm going to go back to David. <laughs> I'm going to go back to David. Um, did you hear all that you wanted to hear? That's enough. Okay, David. <laughs> all right, ladies. It's time to take off your blindfold. Okay, ladies. So, based on what you're seeing right now, are we still holding on to our balloons or are we popping it? Hey. 
I'll tell you my reason. Um, I rather date someone that's my age. You know, I have my reason. I'm sorry. Say that one more time. I like older women. We can work it out. How old are you? I'm 24. I'm gonna be 25. Nah, but you know, age don't matter though. I mean, age don't matter, but like due to my past relationship, it's been like rough ex. Man. You know. Um. He's so he's so intelligent. You know. He looks nice. He looks. I like his skin. You know. I like the way he dressed. Um, I, you know, I see we can have a future, but like the age. I mean, we can work something out. You know, but. Camera streets in flow. Head run up. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, so. Um, he's saying one thing and you're saying another. So are you saying that age is a barrier for you? Okay, well, like, you live in New Jersey? No, I live in New Jersey. Oh, okay, so give me another balloon thing. Oh, you want another balloon? Yeah. Oh, he'll get Okay. I'll be a gentleman. Aww. <laughs> I think we have another one. <laughs> so I'm shy. Okay. Um, Tasha, you, you held on to your balloon. You didn't pop the balloon. Please tell us why. I mean, you look good. You look like, I don't, look good for me. And I ain't gonna lie, he sound mature. Cause this, tw me's 20 years old that's out here, they not really mature. Only thing that's on their mind is straight, lick of weed, sex, lick of weed. He sound like he wants something going on for himself. Like, feel me? So, okay. I mean, I love your tattoos, but like, what's like the most significant one to you? Like, what means a lot? Oh shit. My mother in law, you know, fuck. No worry, good. Okay. Um, so now we're going to give David a balloon. And he'll have to pick. Okay, let's ensure that everyone is seeing you. So because we have two cameras, I'm rolling. Uncle David, why do you want to have your cake and eat it too? Nah, it's not about having your cake and eat it now, but it's just when you can't pick between two. Oh, it's just... But not like this. Oh, shit. Well, really, you, um, you, can't, you can't have the both of them. You can only have one. So I'm going to give you a balloon. And based on your interactions with the ladies, you have to determine whether or not one of them is worth taking on a first official date. Okay, so I'm gonna pass you a balloon. Here you go. So I'm gonna point to one of the ladies. It's either you hold onto your balloon or you pop it, okay? Are you ready? So you have to pick which one of the ladies you would like to go on a date with. But before, actually, you know what? Before we even proceed to doing that, is there any final words you ladies have for David? No, I don't think so. Mm -mm. Are there any words you have for the ladies before you choose? I mean, both of y'all beautiful. It's going to be hard to pick, but... I'm sorry. I told him to pray to Baba God. I ain't no oh, here, really. No worries. <laughs> okay, so right now I'm gonna point at one of the ladies, and you have to pick. Okay, I. Man, but like, for real though, that ass. It's really nice. Like, I don't know. It's a short time we know each other, but yeah, I feel like I could understand you though. But we could have a conversation if you're down for that though. Right. All righty, so we have a match. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you say during, during, yeah, we have a match. So do you believe that you can find love blindfolded? Um, shit. Sometimes it's not all about looks. It's about the way you think, your personality. So I really think sometimes fuck looks, but at the same time, it's about basically it's about what you think. And you know, if your looks go with that too. Man, we good. Do you believe that you can find love blindfolded? Yes, you can. 
it's not about looks all the time. Sometimes a guy can be. You see, me, I don't like to date a too handsome guy. It's too much wahala. You understand? And so you like make the guy wo wo small. No, go fine. You understand? He should be nice. You know, he should be handsome, but not too handsome because it's it's just too much. Like I love my peace. You understand? I love my peace and I just love a peaceful relationship, a healthy re- relationship. So I feel like it's about the mindset and your goals. What do you have in life? Like, what what are you achieving in life? What are you planning? You know, me, I know before next year, I want to have my car, I want to have my own house, I want to have my own career, my business, you know? So. Ah, <laughs> you know, I want to. Fa- okay, I, I keep speaking to you about but there's a lot of beautiful girls out there. And a lot, a lot of like handsome guys out there, they don't know what they really want. It's like the looks, it's just attracting them instead of the mindset and the heart. So I write out the mindset and the, you know, the heart. Okay, so we have a match. <laughs> you guys want to hug something? Thanks, Sasha, for coming. And we have come to the end of this episode. We have two couples. Wow. Do you believe in finding love blindfolded? We'll find out next time. Thank you so much for coming. And once again, it's your girl, Jay Lola. Have a good one. Bye-bye.